So it's about time I start to do do some actual work. Um, this is me. Uh, this is footage of me installing um, the Vertigo clutch bell. Uh, this is me taking out the old one. Um, don't know if you don't know if I actually shot any footage, but the end of the old this is the, well the stop bell was was busted at the pin end, and uh, this is this is the new Vertigo bell with the um, metal uh, clutch bell carrier. Uh, and the obviously when you buy the Vertigo bell you also have to buy their spur gear this is the standard 20, 21 tooth spur gear I didn't want to go any faster for me it's all about low end speed to be honest um, and uh, yeah I mean it's, it's a very simple process it's a case of well, for um, as a friend with a Baja pointed out to act to do any work on a DBXL you kind of have to take the engine apart um, where it's on a Baja you can kind of do it where it is without having taken anything apart but anyway um, I had a problem um, aligning the um, uh, the bell with, with the clutch itself because when I was spinning when I was spinning the bell to freely with my hand it would kept rubbing against the um, the clutch and you could hear it so it was not supposed to be rubbing it's supposed to be it was spinning free freely um, this is the replacement um, spur gear um, a bit of a pain to fit in, you know, because the first time I've ever actually done it. But you kind of have to, it won't fit in straight away. You kind of have to force it down and then let the bearings sit on the plastic um, holders. And then it will spin quite freely. Um, I had to put, put, put a bit of force on it, but uh, not an issue at all. These things are quite tough. And yeah, I'm quite pleased with the way it kind of turned out, really. Um, I haven't tested it yet. Um, as you can see here, I'm just spinning it like a <laughs> like a five-year-old. Wee! Look at it spinning! It's spinning! Look at me! Look at me! Look! I made this! <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm such a child. But anyway, um, I was just enjoying the, the fact that it was actually working quite well. Um, time will tell um, if this new Vertigo clutch bell will endure. Um, I'm not a particularly hard basher, to be honest. <laughs> That's what she said. And so, um. It's not really something that um, I kind of, you know, try really hard to, to, to break. But um, when I get do get this thing running again, uh, I will try and run it particularly hard uh, so that I can give it a thorough test. Um, this is me replacing the the fuel tank with fuel in it. I don't know whether it's supposed to empty it first, but I was caught. I couldn't be bothered. Um, it got a little bit stuck because the steering was um, in its way. So move it. Pop, and it pops in, easy peasy. Uh, then obviously to make sure the, um, the fuel line goes in. Uh, a, the yellow fuel line goes on top, black fuel line goes on the bottom. And yeah, so this is just a quick installation, easy peasy. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'll be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. That's it for now guys, see you in the next one. Brum. Brum.